Good evening, my friends, and welcome to the next episode of Siberia. Last time out, we fixed the bandstand. We've managed to acquire $100, and we're going to go over to a boat to see if we can get our train tugged out of here. Now, I have a strong suspicion that we're going to make our way as far as the lock, and then we're going to need a key. But that might be... But it, it does feel like we are getting close to finishing Borakstadt. Barakstad. So we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. We're going to start by handing over this money and seeing what happens then. Hey there. On the boat. Good talk, sir, mademoiselle. My husband say, hello, young lady. You want to talk to us? And of course we have to do the obligatory <laughs> we have to do the ob the obligatory volume control cuz that's really loud in my ears. What was I listening to last? This land by the Lion King on the Lion King soundtrack. Perfectly re <laughs> perfectly reasonable choice. <laughs> um here's your money of you to take advantage of my predicament we could have done favors for each other for free out of solidarity father father i lost speak not full Maria, ya wait full excuse me my husband say need money for leave One that's interesting not she said excuse me not i'm like sorry you. how would you know a fancy lady like me really Oh, well, that's weird, because we have the money. I have a little problem with my train. It's kind of broken. I've absolutely got to get it out of the station. Do you think you could tow it over to the wall with your barge? Lock closed. Barge block. But if the locks were open, would it be okay to tow my train then? Por que no? More money for that stack. Da, it's possible. My husband say we help you if you give money. Okay. I just met with the university rectors, and they ordered me to remove my train out of their station. I mean, it's a total joke. How do you remove a train that can't move in the first place? You don't have any ideas, do you? We know nothing of train. You up your own creek. Your generosity warms my heart. Fine. Well, I'll okay. Leave you to it. I Locks closed. You again. Das Vidania. It's the first acknowledgement we've had from anyone that the lock is closed. Of course, the way locks work is you need to <laughs> you need to sail your ship into the lock and then you raise or lower the water in the lock. Um the train master would be the obvious person to ask about that key. But this is the thing. That looks broken. In case of problems, contact the following number. 2766-6742. Is this actually going to work? Welcome to the East Block Control Center. To start, press the number sign. Uh, that's the pound sign, right? If you are using the Haltenberg lock, press 1. If you are using the Morloth lock, press 2. If you are using the Conning Pass lock, press 3. If you are right. using the Barakstadt lock, press 4. 4. To return to the last command, press the number sign. Bureaucracy Simulator! 
If you want to raise the water level, press 1. No, we want to lower it. If you want to lower the water level, press 2. To return to the last command, press the number sign. No, we want, we want to lower it 100%. Because look, look at how high the water is next to us compared to over there. In the lock. To confirm your choice, press star. To return to the previous command, press the number sign. Your request has been logged. Unfortunately, our regional technician ah. is currently on holiday, and no replacement is available. We will reply to your request within 48 hours. In case of an emergency, please operate the lock system manually. We apologize for delays to our service. That's hilarious. I wonder if that adds lock as a conversation item now, though. Because, yeah, clearly we need the key. Yeah, we're not doing anything without the key. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I do for you, miss? Interesting. Okay. I feel like I've lost my way a little here. I could really do with your so, help. So, the lock, hey, not a conversation do, topic. You just let me know. I've just been to see the rectors, and they told me to get the train out of the station as quick as I can. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought they'd say that. Rules are rules, and you gotta stick by them. Not a good idea to get into trouble with the university administration. A absolutely. I've got enough worries as it is. What should I do then? Well, uh, I suggest you move your train. But it's like I say, the springs are unwound. Everyone seems to think it's my fault. The locomotive's engine might not work, it's true, but maybe there's some other way of moving the Yeah, train. we've already kind of got it's past this part of the logic. Uh, what were you thinking of exactly? Uh, nothing. It was just an idea. Anyway, miss, you shouldn't hang around here. I have a job to do. Yes, sirree. Mm-hmm. It seems that your superiors object to the presence of my train in the station. Not exactly easy going, are they? Uh, well, it's, it's not that they're difficult to please, but I find that the less I have to do with them, the better things are. Give a drift. Birds, more peaceful than employers. And respect for the regulations. Now that brings peace of mind. All these birds in a station. It's amazing. This is no ordinary station, miss. Oh, no. I can well believe. And you know what's the hardest? The hardest thing is to keep interspeed. Okay, we a, a nightmare. I see what you mean. We've already dealt the with the The faculty cookies. declared the bird a protected species. You have an automaton? A wonder of technology. It's mm -hmm, an eagle that's mm -hmm. mounted on rails in the air. It passes through and it swoops down. Why not? I, uh, I can't climb up the gangway. I fell off it several months back and I still have a pain in my spine. You poor... Worst thing is, cocoa eggs piling up in the nests. Soon the rectors are gonna notice. I mean, maybe I need to find a way of removing those eggs. Yep. Worried. Like, the egg we removed was the was the, the fake egg, the autonomous egg for the automaton egg for the bandstand. The sailors on the barge reckon they could help me tow my train out of here, but... Miss! I've, I've already got the money. Cash. Look, lady, I'm only a stick. I won't disturb you. Welcome to... Hmm. Not sure what to do. If the lock is not a conversation topic, how am I going to ask anyone for the key? Unless I've sort of missed doing something here. I need a key. 
key. Yeah, I mean that much is obvious. And like none none of that's gonna work, like obviously. Oh wait, hang on. Oh no, 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 no that's wrong. What if we bring up the money and hand the money over first? Because, yeah, it's not a question of talking about the money. You have to use the money, don't you? The thing is, the guy's on a barge. I'd have thought if you own a barge, you're going to have keys for the local locks. Otherwise, how are you going to be operating them? Okay. Big swag bag of money with a dollar sign on it. There you go. There you go. Here's your money. I've checked it. It's all there. It's all there. It's $100. That could be one note, right? It, it re hardly requires a whole swag bag. Thank you. Not difficult to get daughter. See? You are a real businesswoman. Hmm. I'm not the only one around here. We please to do deal with you. Now, you open lock or we no help you. Why didn't you manage to open them? After all, you don't have to be a genius. Ma vor vat pensino sesto, di kleina madam. No se saye mar alles non comprendo en allora caput en andere bordel. Zirs var moi. On boom telephone yearin kaput kaput. My husband say instructions complicated. No understand manual. My husband angry, very angry. Oh, now telephone broke kaput. Oh yes. Now that is Good annoying. Good use of the passive voice what are you gonna there. Do next? And who broke we the wait, telephone? Repairman. Well, I don't have the time to wait. I'll have to go have a look. There must be some way of releasing the opening mechanism. Take key. Seller always need key for lock. Yes. D you, you gave me the key. Yes. Excellent. See, you're gonna have okay, a key thanks. for the lock if you run a barge, obviously, because you need to be able to open the locks. Big brain thinking. Oh, phone call. Hello? Hey, how's my little baby girl? I was thinking about you only yesterday because I thought it's fantastic for a coat. You are Oof. wrapping up warm, aren't you? I mean, people in foreign countries never know how to dress properly for the weather. Mom, it's so sweet of you to worry, but I'm fine, really. The trip's a breeze, no worries. I mean, there's... Well, when are you coming back? Frank is dying to meet you. Frank? Which oh, one's yeah, Frank you're again? Singer. You two seeing each other then? Ah. Oh, you'll never guess the surprise he gave me yesterday. Proposal. No, I suppose I won't. Frank invited me to a big charity show organized by, oh, uh, uh, well, someone or another. Uh, anyway, they got him singing a couple of old numbers from his repertoire, and in the end, he asked me to go up on stage with him. Can you imagine me, your mother, on stage in front of thousands of people? Wow, I would have loved to have been there. Not too emotional, I hope. Oh, too emotional by far. Especially as I hadn't even been to the hairdresser. Well, I didn't even have the proper dress on. But Frank promised me he'd see to that next time. Oh, he's such a cutie. And he's got the sweetest little... <laughs> I'm sure he has, Mom. It would be so good if you could join us one day. Let's see, when is his next gala? I'm so forgetful these days. I swear I'd lose my head if it weren't in the clouds. You just watch out, my girl. Them years will catch up with you much quicker than you think. 
I'll look out for the moth. Nice to hear your voice. Lots of love. Well, to you too, my little munchkin. Ah, oh, that was nice. Yeah, her mother definitely seems a bit uh, a bit nicer than Dan so far. Okay. Key. All right. Now, what are we doing? Is it the same number as before? Like, you could still do 2766-6742, theoretically. Oh no, it's literally asking for a two-digit code. Two-digit code. Well, this is like that water level. And maybe this one is the other water level? I don't know. How do you... How do you, like, enter the number? There's not really any kind of... Enter. The instructions oh. are written in a language I don't recognize. Okay. What about the on this instructions side? instructions are written in a language I don't recognize. Yeah, not helpful. Fine. I wonder if it's now going to be a conversation topic, though. No, this way, Kate. Come on. To be fair, it might also be the boat people. They didn't say they couldn't read the language. They said the instructions were complicated. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I do for you, miss? Locks. Can you explain to me how the locks in the canal work, please? A lock, right, is a system of sealed gates. They're clever, right? They help boats overcome gradient problems in channeled water flows. They make this kind of boat staircase, see? You know what I like? Sitting on the bank, mm -hmm. watching the barges and... I'm sorry. I must have expressed myself badly. I need to know how the locks open and close to vary the water levels. I'm not sure of a precise maneuver. Trains and barges. Barges, trains. Uh, those guys are very different fellows altogether. Okay, so he doesn't know. I won't know. disturb you any longer, Mr. Station Master. Um, the, barge, the people on the boat said the instructions were too complicated. So we could certainly head back up into the university itself and ask anyone. But given that we're fairly close to the people on the boat, and they should know, we can start with them, given that it's a conversation topic now. Tell you what, Kate is getting a workout this week, isn't she? Hey there, Constant running, the back and forth. Guten Tag, schöne Mademoiselle. My husband say hello, ya. Is it the locks that are stopping you from carrying on your journey? Da, barge no pass, lock close. Have you tried, like, just opening them? Genius eh, idea. Not possible. Have tried. Now system kaput. Oh, dear. I am sorry about that. Looks like we're all being held prisoners in Barrackstadt then, in a way. Funny that, isn't it? I'll leave you to it. Okay. Probably back to the Rectors, I'd imagine. Let's start with the Rectors, then we'll go to the Professor, and then I guess we'll just hassle randomers in the library, if that's not uh, forthcoming.
Oh, could be the sleazy lad outside the front of the building. Hello. Hey, baby, you party? You sure looking mighty fine. Love those big round eyes. Just who do you think you are? Hey, Spunky. <laughs> hey, don't listen. Oh, no, we can't actually even engage him in conversation, can we? Hmm. <clears throat> He's just so offensive, Kate won't even speak to him on any other topic. To be fair, can, uh, can sympathise somewhat. Gentlemen, I'm awfully bothered to have to disturb you again. Hmm, a bothersome disturbance indeed. Which I'm no bother, my dear. We're listening. This sounds slightly different from what it was before. If you can possibly get the canal lock open, then the sailors will be able to tow the train up to the winding machine. Open the lock? What a singular idea. What a surprising request. Our university isn't responsible for the functioning of the canal locks. A different administration deals with that, miss. Oh. Oh, is that it? Oh, man. Here we are, busy. All right. Thank you for a... Ch and thank you. That was a really unhelpful visit. It's not so much that I need someone to open the canal locks for me. I need someone to translate the instructions. Like, I wouldn't have thought that would be outside the realms of reasonableness. Maybe our friend. What is it you want to know, miss? I'm under the impression that if I am to continue my journey, I'm going to have to open the locks on the canal. You're probably right, my dear, so open the locks. Whether they are open or closed is none of my business. Ah, oh, but we don't understand the language. What would you say about seeing Hans Varlberg again? After all, you could come with... No, we've heard this lady, already. You are very... You told me earlier about a lecture on some ancient... The you calls, my dear. Do excuse me. I, I wanted to know if your lecture is going to start soon. Your eagerness to learn delights me, my we dear. We haven't heard this but before, actually. But I haven't actually. finished studying this marvelous mammoth effigy yet. Don't worry, I will call you. See you later. Okay. I'll leave you in peace. I hope I haven't disturbed you too much. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. Hmm. Given that locks are now a conversation topic... Oh, we could ask Oscar! Uh, Oscar doesn't want to leave the train, though, does he? Am I making a rod for my own back by going to Oscar first before going to the library? Because I was right next to the library. Come on. We've started going there now. Because it's not so much that I need help opening the locks. It's that I literally need someone to just translate the instructions. Because the instructions for opening the locks are in a different language.
I mean, what happens if we ask this guy for help I'm sorry rather to disturb than lock? I, I feel like I've lost my way a little. Hey, uh, I won't no. disturb you any longer, Mister. Welcome to. Okay. Oscar, you gotta help me. Everything okay, Oscar? Yes, Kate Walker. I am awaiting your instructions. You must have seen that barge on the canal, Oscar. Well, that barge is going to help us by towing the train up to the winding machine. I've mm -hmm. still got one or two matters to resolve, but they shouldn't take too long. I cannot help you in this matter, Kate Walker. River transport is not part of my mandate. Yeah, I figured as much, Oscar. I don't know why. Because you are very attentive, Kate. <laughs> oh, dear. Oscar, there's no way you could help me find a way to wind the train back up again? Rust awaits my every movement if I leave. <sighs> okay. Oscar, see you later, alligator. In a while, Kate Walker. So, no help here then. No help here. Whilst I am here though, at this end of the train station, I am kind of curious about whether there is something else I can do with this bird up the top. Because the station master... The station master was very kind of clear on the fact that the automaton is, is broken and needs to get working. And that's not just a question of, well, take the egg out and fix the bandstand. That's, that's, that's got to be like a different thing. Oh, hang on. No, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Impossible to reach it. Well, we already used our tongs. And there's nothing else here to be done with the bird, it kind of seems. So maybe there isn't anything to be fixed with the bird. The instructions are in a language that Kate doesn't recognise. So let's just go this way, because then I'll be on the bridge anyway. Okay, well, you, you're pretty useless, if I recall correctly. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I... Can you explain to me how the locks in the canal... A lock, right. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I that's, must have expressed myself that's just badly. what locks are. I need... I'm not sure of the precise Not sure of the precise maneuver. Barges, barges, train, uh, the hoof guys are uh, very different fellows altogether. But why is he confused? I'm not asking about trains. I won't disturb you anymore. I'm asking Welcome about back. locks quite specifically. Hmm.
the instructions are written in a language I don't recognize. And there's nothing else to the interact with. Instructions are written with here. in a language I don't recognize. Okay, we can't do anything with that initially. Like, that's really scraping the barrel in terms of in interactions that would make any kind of sense. We've tried phoning the number. Phoning the number doesn't work. That looks broken. That's broken, so that's no good. Lock is a dialogue option, though. It's got to be that we speak to someone about it. We've got to speak to someone about it. Uh, we've already tried speaking to that guy. So, he's not helpful. Pretty sure we're done with the bandstand, so that's not going to be a thing. Is there anyone in here that we can ask? Excuse me. <clears throat> Can I disturb you a second? No. You could be a little bit nicer about it. Keep quiet. In case you haven't noticed, we're somewhere that requires mm. silence and tranquility. Okay, you can't actually speak to any of those guys anyway. I remember in my university library, there used to be a silent room, right? So obviously, libraries are always quite quiet. Hello. But there was one, Shh, there was one designated so silent room I'm sorry, where no but I was wondering conversations if you could help were me. allowed. Can't you see? I'm very busy. What are you looking for? None of your business. Now, if you don't mind, I am trying to concentrate. I haven't got a lot of time left before Professor Pons's next tutorial. Mm -hmm. Professor Pons, you say? Would you mind working elsewhere, please? No, we can't talk to him on the dialogue tree either. But yeah, the silent room was, um, was definitely the preferred study place for a couple of the guys I lived with, actually. I wasn't such a big fan of it. I preferred just the, the general library um, environment. But it was kind of it was kind of an interesting time, right? Like studying for university exams. I mean, we are talking like fifteen years ago now or something. But um, yeah, like all of us would kind of go down to the library uh, at the start of the day. Like we never, we we didn't really do revision. Uh, well, during during term time, like during um, during holidays, we'd we'd revise at home, obviously. But during term time, we'd um, we wouldn't revise at home. We'd always sort of pack a bag and go down to the library for the day, and uh, and that would be our day. We'd head out in the morning, stay out for lunch, and then come back in the evening. And like, it's kind of weird to think how much work that was because like you know yeah when i was at university i would like i would study like six eight hours like you know i'd, I'd sit down and i'd do like two or three hours studying and then and then break for lunch you know i think i'd really struggle to do that nowadays you know it's definitely something that you're uh better at when you're younger
for sure. No point, it's locked. Hmm. Can you get around the back here? No, you can't. Do you know what? I'm, I'm actually a little bit stuck with this. I think we've pretty much asked everyone about the locks. There's another door over here which was at least recently just totally locked. No point. It's no, locked. that's still locked. Yeah, this is a bit of a weird one. Universitat Brocken. Brockenhurst. Brockenhurst? No. Barakstad. Brockenhurst? No, Brockenhurst is like a real place, isn't it? Okay, well, there's no no entrance to that anymore. So yeah, so bandstand is indeed done. Clearly I've missed someone critical or something critical to this puzzle. Can we cross over the lock here? Usually you can walk this way. No, you can't. Okay. best I can think of is to walk up and down the canal on this side and see if there's anything. So we've got the canal here, of course. to get up onto the train so that we can get onto the other side of that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do here until we actually get the train here. Do you know what? I think I think we're going to need to go and find a hint. I think we're going to need to go and find a hint. Because I think we've asked everyone about these locks. Unless I've missed someone. I don't think so. And I'm not really sure what else to do. So we're going to go find a hint quick. Be right back. Aha. Right. We're not expecting to talk to anyone about it. 
you are operating it very much like you are operating it on your phone right so when we call the number there was a certain number of things we needed to press and we're basically doing that i mean that's not so much of a hint it's more of a solution but it's okay with these older games it's very hard to find hints as such but um uh right what we need to do is we need to phone up 2766-6742. Welcome to the East Lock Control Center. Mm -hmm. To start, press the number sign. Okay, so we hit pound. If you are using the Haltenberg lock, press 1. If you... Right, then it's four. If you want to raise the water level, press we want to one. lower it. If you want to lower the water level, so press, press two. two. To return, you want to lower to confirm your choice, and then star to confirm choice. Your okay. So. All right. Ah, uh, should we have been able to figure that one out? I don't know. We were stuck on it for quite a while. I think one of the things I struggle with a touch on this game is because the puzzles are a mixture of logicking them out and talking to people, I haven't quite dialed into when when you are supposed to logic something out and when you're just supposed to be asking people. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's like telegraphed in some way that I just haven't quite got the hang of yet. But I was absolutely convinced because it was a dialogue option we, hey it, we had to be speaking to someone about it. Got the tag shirt about Moselle. My husband say, hello, young lady, you want to talk to us? Okay, so right, now I locks. It. I know now how the locks work. So guide your boat into the right. lock, and I'll take care of the mechanism. God forbid. Das ist eine echte Ladies. Alle toi, range alle dingen, and obligados de dame. Ach, set contempt. On the route again. Oh, what did your husband try say? Try saying that to my face. Oh, hurry up. We hurry to travel again. Okay, okay. We'll meet each other on the other side. By my train, okay? Tell you what, that is a low clearance bridge. <laughs> Okay, nearly here. I mean, as long as we get the train out of the station, the rectors are fine, right? We don't necessarily... Because we're still waiting for this lecture, of course. But uh, we don't we're not necessarily going to be leaving Barrackstadt very soon. Uh, for one to then raise it, right?
Excellent. So we can leave that there now. And there's the point where they're going to be like, oh, thanks for the hook, but we also need rope. Okay, so they should be just here. There we go. Hey there. On the boat. Hey, you on the boat. Da, da, barge on other side. You still need us? Uh, yes. What do we do now to tie my train to the barge? Mademoiselle Takatak, Lokokokobitchen. What did your husband say? Uh, use you a train. attach chain to train and chain to train with barge. Oh, catch it up. Cool. Easy enough. That's going to work. Looks like something's missing. All right. Well, we've got a hook. Excellent, and there's the winding mechanism. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Well, my friends, that's all we're going to have time for this week. Uh, next time out, we're going to go and we're going to check out that winding mechanism. I'm going to presume once we've wound the train, that there's not going to be too much preventing us from leaving, except to attend this lecture that's what i think is probably going to happen next time but if you enjoyed this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button i will see you next time have a great week bye for now